All right, today we are going to work on the separation of the compounds carbone and limonene. Carbone and limonene can be found in a couple of essential oils. We will be taking a look at caraway oil and spearmint oil specifically. And uh, for each type of oil, I have put the, I have drawn the structure of the carbone and the limonene that you will be able to separate through column chromatography. For caraway oil, we have the structure of carbone. This happens to be the S enantiomer of carbone. The plus symbol that you see next to the uh, S in the name indicates the uh, direction of optical rotation. Uh, and for carbone, this particular structure of carbone, we notice that at the chiral center, we see the wedge symbol, meaning that the group down below here is coming towards you. Carbone, of course, is a ketone. That's why we have the O-N-E ending in the name. And so you can see up above, we have a, a ketone portion and then a conjugated alkene. For our second structure in caraway oil, we have R plus limonene. Limonene and carbone are extremely similar, but limonene is not a ketone. Limonene is just an alkene. But again, we see that we get a possible enantiomer. This is the R enantiomer of limonene. And at the chiral center, we see, again, the wedge symbol. All right, so these would be the two structures possibly separated in caraway oil. For spearmint oil, we will see that we have similar structures. However, we have a different direction at the chiral center. Spearmint oil contains R minus carbone. At the chiral carbon here, we notice that the group is going backwards. Uh, you still have the ketone functionality with the conjugated alkene next to it. And uh, again, the uh, symbol here, the negative symbol, would indicate the direction of optical rotation. All right. And lastly here, we see S minus limonene. S minus limonene is uh, again an alkene and we would have the S configuration happening at the chiral carbon here. We see the dash symbol indicating that this group below is going backwards. And uh, again, the direction of optical rotation would be in the negative direction. Okay, so these are the compounds we will be separating in these two separate oils.